Kalbara is a popular beach for all sorts of sand, sun and water lovers. Even now, on a midweek winter's day, there are loads of people around enjoying the lovely warm weather. The fishing conditions though, were bog average, with a low tide and no swell. Perfect for me to get a bit of beachworming practice in, but I suspect craptacular for fishing. Still, I was here now. Good old beach worming. Yeah, it's frustrating. These are not very big worms. And I am well out of practice. There we go. So going to be chasing brim predominantly, it's a bit too early for uh, whiting yet. Hopefully we'll be able to tick uh, Kalbara off the list. So I'm just going to be using a little Paternoster rig today. And these worms I've been getting are pretty small, so I might even have to go down in hook size. So what I'm going to do is just thread this guy on from his mouth. He won't like it, but... So there we go. Just a little bit of worm. Hopefully get a brim or who knows, maybe an early season whiting. out there towards where there's a bit of a sandbank so in the last episode we were fishing Cub Mirror we had a pretty decent time on the usual suspects salmon mainly banjo sharks that sort of thing a little tailor or two yet again not a lot of surf it's a southwest swell so it's practically nothing I didn't get it on camera, but I just got a little uh, estuary raise, so technically I've caught a fish on uh, Colborra, but I don't think we'll count it.
short one. Cole Burrow doesn't actually produce anything. Admittedly, I've not really come down at the best of times. Just past low tide. Still got probably an hour, an hour and a half of daylight. So we'll get a little bit of the tide coming up. With any luck, a brim, a little dewy even, be nice. Got all these fresh beach worms. Here we go, here's a fish. What have we got this time? I'm going to say it's probably another little ray. It's not doing a lot. Yet, right? Oh, these little guys are everywhere. Let's get you back. Hey. Best way to pick these up is thumb just underneath the eye socket and forefinger the other side. That way their tail barb can't get you. I have heard these actually are very good eating when they get a bit bigger but I'm not all that keen on finding out so we'll pop this guy back Well this session's turning into a bit of a dud A few small uh, rays I've got some beach worming practice in. We'll give it another, maybe another hour. I guess all of these videos can't be brilliant. I had a feeling it would have caught fish if there was a little bit more surf, a little bit more white water. It's just so flat at the moment. Oh. We have something. Oh, it doesn't feel like it's doing a lot. And say so we've got ourselves another brown thing. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely another brown thing. Well, oh, it's nodding its head now. Yep. spot on about the fishing conditions with only a few small rays showing up. Still, I would have thought a salmon or two would have shown up closer to dusk, but it didn't happen. Oh well, it looks like I'll have to come back to Colborough again so I can claim to have succeeded here and to tick it off my challenge. Well, don't think we'll be out this much longer, I don't see the point. And I'm sure though if I did start after dark I might get a brim or something, but right now, the lure of a cold beer and some dinner is uh, it's much better than fishing after dark. I'll give it another 20 minutes, I think. Call it quits. If I get something, I'll, uh, I'll switch the cameras back on, but right now I don't think it's worth it. So what we can say is that the first session on Coldborough is a dud. 
They'll have to come back when the tides are a bit better, I think. 